What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week three of the preseason here in our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise, year number five. Another loss for the Crusaders. You know, we have a young and experienced quarterback leading the way now. It's definitely going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. Although, I have seen a lot of promise with Stuart Denny. He's given us the ability to run, something I like a lot. Uh, out of the quarterback position, especially considering our offensive line. You know, we're a team built around the running game. And uh, we're really going to have to rely heavily on that uh, to get things going this year. You know, last year we could do a little bit of both. And we still have Keiston Mack. We have our rookie wide receiver as well. And I definitely would like to get all of them involved. Um, and they will be. However, you know, McNeil is the rookie. Um... However, to get going, I, I think it's going to be incredibly important to uh, really focus on the running game while our new quarterback adjusts to life in the NFL. So, Stuart Denny will get him some more time there. I'm not going to be able to do much with that one point. I know I can use it, but you get so little out of it. It doesn't matter as much to me. Uh, still got a lot of trade offers for LeJohn Knight. We're still going to hold on to him for the time being. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at our depth chart again really fast. We're entering the final week of the preseason. Our last chance to kind of check out who's going to make the roster and who isn't. Uh, check our depth at a lot of different spots as well. Pretty good all the way through wide receiver. I'm pretty happy with everybody there. Uh, tight end, obviously, like Marcel Reese on that spot. Um, do need to sign a backup left tackle. I uh, do need to get depth, yeah, all along the offensive line. I've yet to grab depth, and that is going to be our goal today. We're going to sign a whole bunch of players there. Um, oh, I do have a backup left guard here. Let's go throw him up there. Oh, no, he's starting. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to sign backup linemen. Uh, I haven't forgotten, guys. I was just kind of waiting until it uh, took me to the point where I had no choice. So we will start making some cuts today. Let's go ahead and do that to get going here. Um, team roadmap and the best way to do it actually is probably under manage roster and go to salaries that way I can see who I can cut without taking a hit uh, that's important to me I guess it might not be quite as important as a uh, coach mode um, and we're getting rid of JD Everett I know he's the same rating as everybody else uh, we're still going to take a little bit of a penalty getting rid of Everett but we have Marmarosa and Snelling as well now. Uh, pretty solid there. Fullback, we're good. Wide receiver. Too many wide receivers. Um, well, not too many. Never mind. I was still thinking we have Bobby Stevenson here. Uh, six is pretty good for me to go into the season. Every once in a while, we'll have a full wide receiver set. And if somebody ever gets hurt or people need to be subbed out, I'm pretty comfortable with everybody. Um, Here's where it gets interesting. And Bobby Stevenson, man, he's still on the books for quite a while. He's making a lot of money. Uh, despite really not playing all that well. Um, Lindley is the rookie, but, you know, he's not really doing a whole lot for us either. Um, the penalty would not be incredibly different. Let's check out... Oh, can't really see much there. Um, I don't really feel like we need three going into this season but we do run two tight end sets every once in a while and in case we have an injury it would be nice to get that so we need a backup at every single offensive line position uh Femi Francois a guy I like a lot but man we have so much depth along this defensive line now so much depth um and even though I like him he might not be making the roster well, we, we, we might have plenty of room, to be honest. There's a whole lot of players I don't really want to cut. Oh, Demetrius McCray. I love you, buddy. You are my App State buddy for life, but I don't think I need you right now, to be honest. Oh, wait. Okay. And I'm also going to cut Mallet. And I'll tell you why. One, he hasn't really lived up to expectations a whole lot. But two, there's a free agent that I actually really want to pick up. So we're going to go sign him as well. And uh, again, get backups along all of our offensive line. So let's go make sure we take care of this before we get into the regular season. Although, I will say, I haven't really noticed us getting uh, 
injured. Our offensive linemen, I don't think they've been injured a single time. Now, Anthony Collins has incredible run block. And again, oh, pass block, never mind. I'm looking for run block. Let's see who's the best strength here. Oh, it's a rookie. All right. And he's probably going to be cheaper. Yeah, all right. I'm cool with this. I'm just going to sign the strongest players again. They don't get subbed in a whole lot. Certain formations, they definitely will be. But I'm just going to get the strongest players I can. And th that was recommended by a sub. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. Uh, makes some sense. Granted, pass blocks is just terrible for him. But again, one, we're going to be focusing on running quite a bit this year. You know what? The difference is so much better right here. I'm just going to go up to here. Um... But, uh, yeah, we're going to be focusing on running quite a bit. Now, he's injured, so don't get him. Let's see. Whoop. Where's strength? Did I pass it? I must have passed it. There we go. I did. 97. All right. And then this guy's quite a bit better, so we'll just go ahead and sign him. Right guard. And hopefully this will be good taking us into the season. Alright, this guy's much younger. Obviously their their block ratings might not be as good, but having that strength, I like to have. I like to have it. So we're at right tackle now. And alright, so the guy below him, six foot eight. Wow. But the guy below him is younger and better. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, I have to release the player first. Okay. So I'll need to release two players then. That's fine. We can do that. Let's go back. And this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Because I don't necessarily know who I want to release. I kind of like all the players on the roster. Um, outside linebackers kind of make sense. But they're all young and they all have their own potential. Um... Let's go ahead and look at everybody's ratings here. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can do it in this screen, can I? Nope, I'm going to have to go to the other roster. All right. Depth chart. We'll do it this way. I probably should have done roster, actually, because sometimes these players are all out of order. Yeah, let's do roster. <clears throat> so I can get a better feel for it. Um, and again, I need to be able to sign two players. So we need to release two. Um, releasing one of the tight ends makes sense. Um, you know what? Lindley is taller, and I believe he's faster than Bobby Stevenson. But Bobby Stevenson's actually had a pretty good preseason. I was about to release him, but he has. Uh, obviously, I don't want to release Price Price. Uh, McCown had an incredible preseason so far. He had four sacks in the first game, and he's probably the favorite to be the starter going into the season. Uh, it, there's just so many options. There really is. And I don't know who to hold on to. Femi Francois is a guy I like a lot. Um, but do I really see him beating out? I know he's not beating out Shelby Harris. I don't imagine he's going to beat out McCray. Um, Will Hughes is a guy we could let go of and just roll with the rookie. We run a 3-4, a so this would still be a backup. I don't know that we need two backups. But the defensive line guys, they get subbed out quite a bit. And uh, Will Hughes is... Oh, uh, you know what? Will Hughes has blown a few sacks in the preseason. I feel like. So, yeah, let's do this. He's blown a few sacks. We'll give it to the rookie. And, honestly, we have Price Price, who was originally set up as a defensive tackle. Drafted as a defensive tackle, so we can potentially throw him as that at that backup spot as well. Um, and then we'll go ahead and even though I like him a lot, I love his name. Um, I don't really see him helping us out quite a, a lot there. So we'll go ahead and release him. Uh, so back to free agency. Here we go. The free agents. And I'll show you the two guys I want. Obviously, we need to get our backup right tackle. Let's go do that. And where his strength? He was the second guy on the list. Daryl Durham. All right. And then we have a strong safety that I like quite a bit. And I'll show you why. Not Antoine Bethea. I do love Antoine Bethea. Don't get me wrong. Go Niners. Uh, but I was looking at catch ratings. And which one? Oh, there's Jamarcus Mallett. <laughs> 
He has an 85 catch. Dang. Why didn't he get more interceptions for me? Well, now I'm kind of regretting all this. Um, no, but the guy I'm looking at, I think, is Javian Mitchell. He's not as fast as Mallet either. He's got much better tackling, though. 73 compared to 62. And tackling in the secondary has been an issue for me. Um, I'm assuming he has better pass coverage ratings. We'll check on that. Uh, they both have 77. He has 76 uh, man coverage, though. Um, so, yeah, and he's a 76 overall. Huge improvement from Mallet overall. I mean, Mallet might have a better catch, but this is definitely the guy we need to be going with here. And he could potentially challenge Okafor for that starting spot. Uh, you know, obviously we don't know now, but he's going to get some time in the preseason. We have one more preseason game. And I'll, I'm going to have him as the backup, which means he's actually going to be playing quite a bit more um, in the preseason this last game. And so we'll kind of see, yeah, if you look at him, they're the same overall. Let's, let's check it out. Uh, you know, he's a year less experienced. I don't know about age, though. Um, he's taller, which I like. I like having that height. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. Man coverage, he's better. Zone coverage definitely goes to Ofisa Okafor, though. And being a safety, zone coverage is very important. And part of the reason his is so high is the amount of time I've spent working on him there. Um, tackle, a little bit better to Mitchell. But that's not, not big. Hit power definitely going to Okafor. Again, that's pretty huge. Catch definitely goes to Mitchell, though. Um... Speed goes to Okafor. So, you know, it's a pretty interesting battle. Now, if we were to get his awareness up, though, he's going to skyrocket past Okafor. Because um, they're the same rating right now, and awareness plays a huge, huge role there. 83 carrying. I wonder if he, he'd be able to play like a wide receiver or something. That could be something we could potentially look into uh, next year as well. Anyway, I thought JV and Mitchell would be a good signing. He looks like he fits our needs pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this news episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are excited moving forward to our last preseason game. And uh, we'll see what's in store for us. Thanks again, Sneaky Nation. I'll see you next time. Peace.